are y'all doing today? Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitty Gem. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe with the notification, but also give my video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about trash, okay? <laughs> I'm going to give you my first impressions and my final review on these products that I've tried. So, um, yes, let's, let's get started with this. And um, thank you for joining me here. For those who are returning subscribers, Thank you for being here and being uh, continued uh, loyal supporters of my of my community and those who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, and um, please hit the subscribe button before you leave. So um, let's go ahead and go through my trash, my trash bin, give you my first impressions and my review. So, okay, let me start off with one of my favorites. Okay, this is one of my favorite products, Dove, Dove Sensitive skin bar soap okay um i've worn several bar soaps growing up you know i have i'm 43 years old so throughout these generations and decades of wearing bar soaps and um i've had favorites you know before uh if y'all know brand the brand caress that was one of my favorite brands um what other brand would i wear that was my favorite i think caress was my only favorite brand you know being a teenager uh, but as I got older I felt like I started getting more like my skin started to feel more dry and itchy and I was like okay I need something that's gonna help me and I just stumbled across Dove I never had bought Dove before you know back when I was a teenager you know growing up in my 20s you know I, I never thought about buying Dove I thought it was just too expensive and I was like and I tried oil of LA and I was like I I tried Dove and I was like, okay, let me try Dove. Maybe Dove will be a little bit, you know, less, maybe it'll work best for my sensitive skin because I, I kept getting rashes and itchy and, um, you know, so it wasn't good. It wasn't pretty. So when I tried Dove, my goodness, it was a, a relief, a reliever because when I tried it, it's a moisturizing bar, it's a moisturizing soap. So when I started wearing it, I fell in love, you know, because I didn't feel itchy anymore. I wasn't uncomfortable um i i wore the i started off with the white one the with the the one with the blue label it's white with the blue label i tried that one and then i i, I wore the pink label one which was the rose the rose scented one and then now i'm using the sensitive one you know because it's fragrance free so this is one of my top favorites um then it's the rose and then it's the, the blue labeled one. I can't remember what the name of the blue labeled one is called, but those are my top three favorite scents. Well, this one doesn't have a scent, but top three favorite bar soaps to go to. If they don't have this, if they're out from this, I'll go for the, for the rose. If they don't have the rose, then I'll go for the blue label. But uh, yeah, so I do recommend these for anybody who has sensitive skin or whose skin gets itchy. I do for myself. I've had that before, you know, where my skin gets itchy. I start to break out in little hives and I'm like, oh, it's not good. I know. I, I, and plus I have allergies as well. And so, but everybody is different. You know, every product, you know, is different for each person. I've, I haven't tried their liquid one. I've only tried their bar soap. I've, I've only worn bar soaps. I wouldn't try liquid ones unless it's in my, one of my subscription boxes. But yeah, so this is one of the ones uh, that, that I've stuck with throughout these decades you know throughout two decades already I've stuck with Dove and um, that, that's my first impressions and my review on Dove so I will not stray away from Dove unless like I said I'm testing out a new product or I'm testing like I said you know if I get an, if I get something else in my box and I want to in a subscription box and I want to try that out then I'm gonna go ahead and try that out but um yeah this is one of my favorites yeah top favorites so yes number one for me Okay, so my first impressions on this one. I'm wearing the Dew of the Gods um, under eye volumizing collagen pad eye patches. I'm not very, I just barely started wearing these last week on my mask Monday. It was my first time wearing them. My last, my last mask Monday that I wore last week and then this week as well on Monday. I, um, you know, I that was you know I wore them and I'm not very impressed with these from first impressions because first okay let's just talk about 
but I, I am impressed. I am impressed about the adhesive on these uh, masks. They don't move because they have that gel on the other end and they stick to your skin and then that's what I like about them. Then what I don't like about them is that I don't know if it's giving me any kind of benefits. I don't. That's what I don't know is that is it working? Is it not working? Or is it supposed to be dry on this side? You know, because it just feels like a, you know, like just like a, it just feels like a, a dry piece of paper, or dry, what do you call it, um, dry rag or cloth on this side. And on the other end, where the collagen part, I guess that's where the collagen part is, or the part where it's supposed to seep into your skin is the, where the silicone gel base to stick to your skin is, is on that side. And that's where the benefits are. I still can't give you my, my, my final review on these, but I can give you my first impressions on these, which is, I'm not impressed with the fact that the serum, I, I guess I'm just used to having serum on my eye patches, you know, seeping from, from the outside through the back of the eye patch. That's, I guess that's why I'm used to that, but this one doesn't have that. So I guess I'm not used to these type and I'm not sure if these are just for contouring or are they for, to actually help you with your under eye circles or your under eye for your eye bags to get rid of the inflammation give you collagen you know so I'm still wear testing them I have two two canisters of them that I'll be wear, wear testing them I'll be trying them out on my mask Monday so you'll be seeing them on my mask Monday so let's move on to the next thing in here which is one of the masks that I was talking about on my on mask my mask Monday last mask Monday not this mask Monday but last mask Monday the tea tree mask this one um, this one has a calm and refreshes uh, benefit to it my first impressions of it, it didn't fit my skin as a, as a glove, like a glove. It, it, it was like falling. I couldn't, I don't know where I placed my, my face, what do you call those? The slings, the face slings. I don't know where I placed it. I need to find my face sling when I try another mask like this because it was just moving all over the place. It didn't fit like a glove. Um, the set, well, you know, so that's the only, the only con about it. But the, the good thing about this first impressions is, that it did soothe my skin it uh it had a very lightly fragrance scent to it but it was very pleasant and it was like it was a hardly it was hardly any fragrance to it to very lightly but it's but it's because i have a very sensitive nose i can actually smell like the slightest scent so but if you know um other than that it, it just like it doesn't have a scent to it at all but um it did like i said um so I did that and the fact that it, that it made my skin feel cooled and refreshed and it did soothe my skin. I had been breaking out. I can notice now that some of my breakouts are going away um, on my skin. But I do still have some uh, pimples but I can tell that they're going away. So I don't know. Um, you know, I do. Well, I got to say, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue wearing the soothing masks, you know, for my skin because like I've been getting breakouts and all that. So. So that's my first impressions and um, my review on this mask, <clears throat> which I, you know, I did like the results. I just don't like the fact that it didn't fit like a glove and it wasn't the cloth type that I like, but um, it's okay. It's okay. It's just the benefit that you get out of it is what, what counts. Okay. So the next thing here that I was not impressed with were these. I like, I give these in my giveaways, but they're like novelty. I, I to be honest with you guys. You know, if I put these in my giveaways, I'm not just going to give this to you just because uh, this is going to be the only item that I give to you. If I give this to you in your in your bundle, it's just because I wasn't aware of how these even react, how these even work. But I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people like these or not. You know, their their lip pad, their lip uh, masks, their lip masks, and I didn't see any kind of benefit or results out of it from my first impressions. And I, it was, it was gelatiny. Like, I guess if that's the word, it was gelatiny. I didn't like the, the, the feeling of the gelatiny, but I was able to manage it and I was able to work with it. And, and at the end, it kind of like started sticking to my, to my lips because of the warmth. I guess it started to, uh, it started to warm up on my lips and it, it, it began to stick to my lip. And as soon as that happened, I was fine. <clears throat> so I was, I'm not going to say I was completely uh, dissatisfied I was just uh, satisfied that at the end you know once it warmed up onto the lip it was fine but it just didn't give me any kind of result it didn't give me any kind of plumping um, 
any kind of plumping benefits to it but <clears throat> I did buy quite a bit of these because I didn't know how they worked but um, I'll still be giving these in my my giveaways but I mean you can always give them away or you can give them a try you know and then your thoughts because not everybody has the same thoughts about these lip masks you know everybody has their different thoughts and likes and opinions about them so then another thing that I wore uh, that day was this natural talks apple mask uh, I don't know how to feel about this um, I wore it it had a, I like the scent I do I do gotta say first impressions I like the way the scent the way it, uh, the way it's the, the scent was I did like the tissue it was the waffle tissue um, the scent was like a cherry scent instead of apple so I don't know if that's a, a, a con or if that's a pro because I, I, you would expect it to smell like apple, I guess. But, I mean, you can't always, always assume that everything's going to smell the same, right? So, because, just because it shows on the picture of what it is. So, um, I was good. I was, I love cherries, so I love the scent. So, I wore it, you know. And then, I just felt like it dried out too quickly for me. So, but, it was fine. It didn't give me no kind of reaction or anything like that. Um that's the only thing I can say it didn't give me any reaction it did it did um leave my skin you know with I, I did have serum on, on my skin and I did massage it through my skin and um I guess I can say it just it did have you know I did have serum on it it wasn't completely dry it was just like it took it took less time for it to dry out than most masks that I would wear because most masks that I would wear uh would usually um you know wouldn't dry out you know so quickly but that one was drying out so quickly and like I said I couldn't find my sling so can not keep it up because it was falling apart it was falling off now this is another mask that I wore from the Dollar Tree I purchased this because out of curiosity it was just like to me like, like to me it's like a novelty kind of type of mask it was uh, like a masquerade mask that you put around your eyes and it was made of that made it out made out of that tissue uh, you know like the gauze tissue and that's the only thing I didn't like about it because it was kind of thin you know it was like a really thin gauze tissue I understand if it was a thin like if it was a different type of kind of material then I probably wouldn't be unhappy about it but but it was like a really thin gauze tissue and it was like it like it tore real easily and that was my first impressions of it now it did leave my skin uh, it did it did leave a glow you know from you know underneath my eyes you know it you know under, where my bags are you know did it leave me a glow so I can't say that's a pro for this for these uh for this eye mask so I, I do gotta say it did leave me a glow so that's the only good thing about that it did leave me a glow I just didn't like the tissue I didn't like and then that it wasn't scented I liked it that that it wasn't scented and that's um so those are two pros and then the other the other thing was just cons they were just uh and that it stayed on it stayed on it didn't fall off but it just tears easily it was thin and um yeah that's the only thing that it didn't impress me about them um the next thing i have here is a neck oh gosh do not buy these <laughs> if you have a neck like me i have a really wide neck so don't buy these if you have a wide neck i think it's best for those who have like a thinner neck or, or yeah like a thinner neck you know to buy these because these came off the minute I put them on to contour my neck they were just falling off so I was like it's okay it did leave me like a you know it did leave me like a little glow to my neck and I would like to wear another another neck mask if it fit but that didn't fit me you know I'm you know I've gained some weight throughout these months and um yeah that mask does not work for everybody so but the benefits of it you know as far as like you know having it gave me a glow so that's the only thing I can say about it uh for first impressions on that on the neck mask and I got that at the Dollar Tree all right the next thing I have here which I was impressed with and I didn't know that I was going to be that that this much impressed with it was these hand gloves yeah these are by uh, soft care it's a soft care hand pack hand and nail vital mask and it's by the brand Esfolio I did get this. I did get these off of the Shop Missé website, so they might have these. They might still have these, you know, on their site. And the fact that it smells like baby powder, it just it, it just smells so good. It smells like baby powder. It really left my hands looking really nice and smooth. And 
you can even see like there was like like I had actually put something on my hands like some kind of lotion or some serum to make my to make my skin to make my skin look very moisturizing so they did my skin my hands did look very moisturizing so I I would get these again if I were if I were to go shop on their site again you know when I have the funds you know but uh, I would get these again now I would recommend those if you haven't tried them you know to get them and try them out if you like hand masks you know these were hand gloves and plus you didn't have to put any serum on them the serum was already inside the glove that's what I liked about them as well that the serum was already in the mask but it didn't have this picture on the on the glove you know picture of a cute little face I thought it was gonna have a cute little face on it but it didn't <laughs> it didn't have any cute face let me show them to you I actually this is how they look like so this is how they look like they look like I don't know I guess gloves you wear like for somebody who's I think these are really good to use whenever you're painting your hair because they will protect you from your hair I don't dye my hair not painting your hair dyeing your hair I don't dye my hair much so it's no need for me to keep these but if you dye your hair you know get these and reuse them to to dye your hair why not you know I mean they're thick enough they're plastic you know so it would it doesn't hurt you know what's what's the big deal about it okay now this is something I'm really upset about okay so I got those Rasha B cosmetics mascara I am I'm upset because I did not report this they're really good about replacing their products whenever whenever a product is not good they're very good about replacing it or if you're missing a product and I thought I sent them an email about this about this mascara because I actually I actually even sent them photos of you know how this mascara didn't have any kind of no there's no uh, it's dry it, it, there was nothing in there there's no there was nothing in there when I got this in one of my uh, is the purple one the one that that came in with the with the the diamond eyes um eyeliner the one with the diamond gems on the on the eyeliner pen and i forgot about it and and i never got a replacement for it so it's already it's it's already been i don't know how long i think maybe a month or two i'm not sure i just know that i wasn't happy with the fact that they gave me a dried out mascara from uh slay glam it's a slay glam subscription box but it was just my fault because i didn't keep track of you know you know i didn't keep track of having them replace this mascara for me it was dried out okay so the next thing in my <clears throat> trash bin is the face tori sun Bay soothing mask which is pretty neat because i just got through doing a mask monday last month i mean last week and i was just talking about soothing masks and how we need these in the, during the summer it did leave me a good um it did leave my skin looking uh really glowy and um it did fit like a glove i did like the the results on that that's my first impressions and my and 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 the uh the next day it was my skin was still doing glowy so you know so when i wore it that day and then that night or you know before going to bed and then waking up the next morning it was still gluing doughy still glue still doing glowy <laughs> okay the next mask i have here is the raspberry yogurt uh, the creme shop yogurt uh fusion sheet mask this one I did like. I like the way it left my skin. It left my skin looking dewy and glowy. So uh, what are the benefits on this one? This one is for a uh, beautiful complexion to fight off bacteria and then exfoliates for it naturally. Yeah, and the scent was really nice. I think it was really lightly scented, to be honest with you. Like it hardly had any scent to it at all. And the same with these uh, these masks that I, that I, you know, I love Korean beauty. I love Korean beauty and um, I think most of our skincare are Korean beauty or most of our sheet masks that, that we receive are Korean beauty but uh they have very lightly fragrance on that on the apple one the the apple mask I said it was it was like there was it was very fragrant you know with the cherry scent on the apple mask the one that the detox apple mask the one that I told you that was like a waffle uh kind of tissue well yeah that did have some fragrance to it but um so now this face Tory moon velvet oh i love i fell in love with this because this was an actual like you know the cream in a jar well this is cream from the jar onto a mask it actually was moisturizing cream on my face when i put them on when i put it on the mask i thought it was gonna be like serum you know like clear and serum you know this was creamy and white like 
I love the way this this moisturizing moon moon velvet mask felt on my skin and also put some on my arms you know I was like very happy with it so I'm gonna get more of those I think I actually had ordered some I just gotta find it the next thing I have here is the the La Rouge Pose I like this moisture this uh not moisturizer um this sunscreen I got a little sample of it and it's the taller to the taller in double repair UV moisturizer um, sunscreen so I wore this one day when I forgot my my actual sunscreen I wore that sample I had it in my purse because I knew it was like one of these days I either run out run out of my original sunscreen and then I'm gonna need like a backup so I got that as a backup and I used it and I loved it I did like the way um, it worked you know it does have the scent of the uh you know that sunblock scent it did have that scent if you if you know what i'm talking about like the sunscreen scent sunblock scent almost supposed to like the beach type beach scented uh sunscreen that's how it smelled or, or, or like poolside sunscreen that's how it that's how it smelled like to me but um it was very lightly fragrance it was good i liked it okay now another thing i'm happy about was this generation skin i'm happy about patting this out because i had so many of them it was a, it was 30 pairs and i cleaned out i cleaned out this this jar finally and I did get some good benefits out of this so I do got it I'm giving you my review on this uh, my first impressions of it love you know the gelatin on my under my eyes and feeling the serum and the cooling refreshing uh, sensation of it and then um, it did brighten under my underneath my eyes so I am I am giving it a good review it did brighten underneath my my eyes wearing it you know continuously with that okay so the next thing i have in here because i don't want my video to go too long okay so the next in here is i have two mascaras one is by wet n wild mega wear mascara i'm not very fond of this brand you know wet n wild when it comes to their formula so i was just trying to pan it out so i actually panned it out see so it's dry now there's hardly anything if there is barely hardly nothing so I went ahead and I just planted it out because I, I hate to throw stuff away, you know. You know, if there's still, you know, stuff on it, if there's still product in it, I'm just going to go ahead and wear it. I'm not going to throw it away, you know. I'm not, I don't, I don't like to be like, I don't, I don't like to throw away anything. And this is the It by, uh, Cos, by It Cosmetics. I'm sorry, the Lash Blowout by It Cosmetics Mascara. Now, this one I did love. I did love this mascara. I love the wand. It was a very uh, thick, volumizing wand. But as you can see, Hardly it has any more. Uh, it has quite a bit, but it settles. Like the reason why it's still dark is because it settles. Like the like the product settles on the wand, and so you get a lot of the product stuck on the wand. But it's really dried out already. Like it's really dried out, and the only thing that's left is what's on the wand. You know, because it just settles on there. You know, it just settles, and it's kind of dry. As you can see, like the texture of it is really dry almost looks like face paint kind of you know so uh, that's I said it's time to pan it out so but I love the results of this I do like I, I did like the way it made my lashes you know longer and volumized so my last two products in here that I have I got I had one of these in a giveaway from one of my sassy divas and it's uh Tracy from uh Tracy and Chloe's uh, beauty and unboxings and more uh, this is the allurium I think it's called allurium yeah allurium allurium clean beauty uh, collection curl shampoo and and we have the curl conditioner so I uh, first impressions like I said uh, like I'm saying is they were they were good there's no fragrance to it which I really loved I've loved that there's no fragrance to it um, I did have to, I did have to gather a lot of shampoo to get some lather to my hair because of course my hair is really long. Um, but I did get some results out of it. I did get curly hair. My hair got curly, you know, the, you know, cause I took a shower that night. The next morning when it dried, my hair was wavy and curly. It's like, oh yes, I got some curly hair. So I, I wasn't, I did like the fact that it does, does, um, Say what it says it does it curls is for it's a curling shampoo so it does curl your hair all right so that is everything in my trash bin thank you for joining me here today stay tuned for more videos 
upcoming videos on my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell again, give me a like, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Have a great and wonderful day. I love you all. Bye.